I'm just about to tell y'all about this real shit. That's all it is. My nigga Mr. Taylor, you already know what time he is. Poor baby. Listen to this knowledge, because that's what we're going to take to get this shit the way it need to be. We ain't going to get no respect from none of these motherfuckers in this Charleston government or any government until we start tearing some shit up. And that just point blank. All right, first and foremost, um, it's like I've been stating to the, the poet, you know, um, Charleston, South Carolina, we can't even boycott <clears throat> or say we ain't gonna fuck with none of these white businesses because they don't they don't um strive off our dollar. You know what I mean? The community don't get outsourced to you know tourism. That's the basic source of income. So it don't matter if we boycott or not. You can't run to the media outlets. You can't even deal with none of these politicians because they in pocket. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? So us being the uh, the hip hop community and we younger a younger generation, our our elders more so uh submissive. They don't even you know really complacent. They don't really care about you know nothing that going on. They they care. I ain't gonna say that, but you know they're they are, they are, yeah, they are, they 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 scared and they ain't even gonna gonna stand and you know come forward. Um, me personally. Just me analyzing the situation. The only way we really going to get any progress or any satisfaction is just, just take what they love. And what they love is the, the market. So, you know, that's what bringing them money. That's what generating revenue. That's what we're bringing in all these different tourists. They bringing, bringing in these XO amount of dollars. And the last three years, they've been ranked number one with... uh. A billion dollars worth of tourist money. You feeling me? None of that is being kicked back in none of these black communities. They bulling up these white areas. Now they tamed down. They tamed down black communities. black communities. You go gent gentrification process. They pushing us out. You know, when I've been younger, my grandmama said that on the battery, nothing but black people that own them homes. When you, that's it. He just been blacks. And them neighborhoods, they see how wealthy and rich uh, the the waterfront property, but they come back and swindle the shit. You know, let's just go back into Black Wall Street when all this black community had nothing but black businesses, black banks. They come back in, and they destroy that. They gotta make they they made us more relying on them and not relying on ourselves. They tear down everything. We allow that. So now I'm looking at the situation like shit as as. The only only steps we can take is tearing this shit down. You feeling me? They looking for a race war, so they trying to divide. That's why the suicide note been sent to Harv Jacobs. That's the that's that's the divide. So if we stand up and, and fight the fact that it been a suicide note, you got the the white people on the other end saying, "Oh, these niggas getting out of place because this boy killed himself," not knowing that they sheep as well. You know, dealing with the social security card birth certificate after 1934 when the United States said the goal, man. The, the white people who ain't part of the 1%, they actually sheep them damn selves. So they're slaves too and don't even fucking know it. You, you, they ain't paying no attention. You understand me? You look at how they they take, they're trying to implement martial law right now. You look at how, how they're taking away your freedom of speech. You can't even stand up and protest without a fucking permit now. You feeling what I'm saying? And they can deny your permit. You know? Look at the situation from yesterday when 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 Port them going to march. The police meet them there because they're looking at social media. And they follow these fellas, this group of people who've been standing up for, for a certain situation and telling them why y'all marching because y'all y'all don't even know the outcome. And they were saying that shit sarcastically because they know what the outcome going to be. The outcome going to be, they going to win. With the suicide, bullshit suicide note that my center, yours truly, Harv Jacobs. Man, fuck Harv Jacobs, man. You feeling me? He don't do nothing but tear down the community. You feeling what I'm saying? He quick to come out, y'all. You know, and, 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 and.